what's up guys we're back again today so yesterday we got the engine in and everything so this is what we're looking like right now okay so this was about three years ago um it's been a long time i'm going to show you the car right now i'll uh, i'll go through the car right now as it sits but i finally found a bunch of this footage and now i can start talking about what we did so right here i'm talking about uh stripping out of the dash interior and all that kind of stuff and at this point we already had everything pulled apart and the day previous of this was the day that we got the engine and transmission into the car so now we just have to figure out the whole dash wiring situation as long as you know as well as getting all the ipdm and vvl control and stuff but i'm going to cut this here show you guys the car now and then i'll start running through the process of how we got everything working i'll introduce you guys to the car it's rough af right now um it's a drift car So, yeah. Anyways, show you guys around. So everything in the inside works. Um, the only thing that doesn't fully work, the push button start works, but you have to put the key in. My guess is that it has to do with the key proximity sensors that are not plugged in. Um, of course, there's not one on the door. We still have to run the door wiring and everything because all that has to be custom done. What we're gonna do is to use the uh, 370Z door lock actuator and the 370Z door handle we're gonna have to trim out the skin of this door and then actually tack weld into place and then body fill uh, to get the 370Z handle on here. And that's one of the parts of getting the wiring in place. We still have to deal with the window regulator wiring, but I'm gonna leave that for another video. What I'm gonna go through in this video is just basically everything that has to do with getting this dash in here and how we got everything to fit. It actually fits really well. So if you guys can see there's no gaps or anything. Even back here, we had to trim this panel and this doesn't look terrible but it's not something you'd ever really pay that much attention to but yeah even like the e-brake assembly everything fits up so everything on this car literally everything on this car is pretty much well the only things that are not from a 370z of course are body stuff and then batteries we located to the rear and then some of the trunk trimming and stuff like that because i mean this stuff doesn't really matter the main goal was to get everything up there and uh, and everything functional, push button start, all that kind of stuff, and actually have a VHR that we can have smog legal here in California into this chassis. Um, pop the hood real quick. So this is it, like I said, battery relocated, but everything's hooked up over there, the IPDM and the VVL control module, even the fuse box and everything, the ABS pump, everything on this is from a 370. So, we are in the process of getting this car smogged and reft to get it smog wiggle and uh, car got impounded. If you want to see details about that and about how this car basically got stolen, I'll, uh, I'll post the video in the description. But yeah, for now I'm going to get into everything that we did. Alright, quick little update. This is where we're at right now. So we're getting all the wiring. I got the stuff stripped back from over there. It just has to be pulled through like this. And then all these little pieces on that side are probably gonna have to be cut off. I don't know if the hole is big enough to fit those. But we got the pedals out and we started getting all the wiring and everything undone. But the thing is, is this bar pretty much has to, we have to try to remove this bar before we can actually uh, get all the wiring pulled out of here. It goes through right there into right here so right there and we're still gonna have to pull all the harness back all the stuff inside of here that connects to the ABS pump and everything pull all that through uh, we're probably gonna have to pull this harness through that direction because I don't believe we're gonna be able to pull it from the inside out all right so we just like lightly through the dash in here just to see how it would fit this is what it's looking like right now. It comes into contact with the door panel. You can see over there. I'll walk over there real quick. Oh, these are the dash panels. So top one, or dash bars anyways. Top one is the 350Z one. Bottom one is the 370Z one. You can see how it angles in this way and then it actually curves back like this. Has a, a, a bent portion right there. And this one's pretty much completely straight. It doesn't bolt right up. So we got one bolt in on this side. So we were able to get one bolt in right here. 
Alright, so I'm actually gonna skip all the dash beam stuff for right now because we actually went a different route and I'll get to that in a little bit, but for now we're just gonna finish stripping the car. So what we got to do is we got to cut this um, piece of the firewall to fit this right here for the breather hose for the brake booster. And we're, what we're going to do is basically we're just going to measure the inside portion here with a pair of digital calipers. And uh, we're going to cut, basically, we're going to make a template cut right here so this can slide into place. And this lip has to be removed too, um, probably a little bit further back so that way this can slide on. And yeah, so we're going to get to cutting that and making a template. And then after that's done, we can start throwing all the wiring in here and getting everything done for the uh, 370Z wiring to get laid out and then put into the cabin. Started taking a look at everything. We grabbed all the actual 370Z, like steering column and all that stuff. Pedals, gas pedal, brake pedal, clutch pedal. These are the, win uh, the windshield wiper linkage and everything. Uh, we just didn't know if the plug was gonna be the same, so we saved all this stuff. So we saved the brake booster everything over here pretty much we just wanted to compare and make sure that we were going to be good so one thing we did notice okay so this is from the 370z you can see how it has this like elongated portion here and that piece is not on the 350z one so this this portion of this this bracket this boot this stuff will not bolt up to the 350z so what we're going to do is we're going to take this clamp off here and uh, pretty much basically swap all of this stuff, this boot and everything, clean it up. Yeah, we're probably gonna have to really clean it. And then we're gonna have to, it looks like this is about the same diameter here as it is here. It's almost the same. We might be able to swap clamps. Uh, actually, we can just keep this clamp on this boot and then spread it out a little bit and then tighten it down over this portion. But it looks like pretty much everything can be swapped. Okay, so I don't know why I don't have any footage of me actually cutting these brackets off of this dash bar, but basically the bar on the table is the 351, the one on the ground is the 371. We have to cut these brackets off so that way we can modify them and use pieces from both to uh, put together brackets on the 350Z chassis. So um, what we have to do is mock everything up. We mocked up a, a custom plate to bolt up to the 350Z and then use pieces of these, tack weld everything in together, tack weld everything together, and then make sure that we fit everything up into the dash, like onto the dash. All the stuff has to go together, center console, everything has to go in because we have to make sure that everything fits. I actually had Mark take his entire interior apart, so I'm gonna get to that, and then I've got pictures of the mocking up process. All right. <laughs> I had Mark take apart his entire interior so I could show you guys these brackets because I can't find the footage. So I guess I'll start with this side since the door is open. All right, it might look a little ugly underneath, but I mean, all of this is hidden. So, okay, so we had this welded out and then we custom used this bracket, which I'll have to, um, I'll have to double check if that was from the 350 or the 370. I think part of it is from the 350 and part of it is from the 370. So here's this one. And I mean as long as the dash fits up in place the reason why this is all cut up because a piece of the dash goes right there so That's the reason for that but Take you guys to the other side All right, and then this is this side and I'll show you the pictures of when we were mocking this up but we pretty much took a plate. There's that plate behind the uh, this portion that we cut off of the dash bar. And then we took another plate, mocked everything up out of cardboard, and then welded them both together, and then welded this piece onto the 370Z dash beam so this is the actual one from the 370 and like I said everything mounts up over here 
and you can let me see if I can get down underneath so the dust boot is still under here but this is um it's like sound deadening and I don't know why he put it exactly like that but you can see the plate is still there and the boot is actually still there and then this hole up here the stock hole for the 370 I mean the 350 where the engine harness not the engine harness the chassis harness came through that one we plugged and then sealed it with uh, RTV and uh, all right back outside because the uh, clutch pedal and everything is in the way you can see some of the wiring coming up right here but the actual harness goes in right down there behind <clears throat> see if I can get this light better we had to custom make a grommet and cut a hole so it goes through right there it's really hard to show you but um, that's where we had to cut the hole for the harness because we didn't want to cut open we didn't want to cut open the whole harness uh, because it's just a lot of wiring and I didn't want to deal with splicing wiring together or depinning anything and then repinning the whole entire harness. And the ABS pump sits right here, so the factory location wouldn't have reached the ABS pump to fit here. So we actually got this ABS pump to fit like pretty much, I mean like stock. I mean everything in here is pretty much stock, even this is the 370Z. Part number on the brake booster. So yeah, everything on here is from the 370. And I'm still gonna go through all the wiring and everything. I just wanted to point this, this out while I'm out here. All right guys, that's pretty much it for this video. I'm gonna do the wiring, like HVAC, everything we had to go through. But um, this video is already getting a little long right now. So I'm gonna make uh, the next part. I'll probably release the next part within the next couple of days or maybe next week. But, uh, but yeah, let me know what you guys think so far. The car's back together now, partially back together. He just wants to uh, really deep clean the carpet because when the car was impounded and they left it outside with the windows down, so it accumulated a bunch of water. He put a shitload of um, <laughs> sound deadening in here. But yeah, everything's coming back together now. You can see all the gaps and everything are really good. Let's see if I can show you right here. Like even placement up where the windshield is is like really good. We're gonna custom do the A-pillar trims. So we're gonna mold in, like we're gonna use um, the bottom half of the 370Z um, door, I mean uh, A-pillar trim on the inside right here. And we're gonna mold it to the 351. So that way it fits up perfectly with the headliner and then also fits up perfectly with the dash. And then we're gonna probably do some custom. Either he's gonna do door cards or he's gonna do uh, um, a custom panel where it fits up perfectly with the side of the dash. Yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. I'll see you in the next one. Let me know what you guys think. Drop a comment, like, and subscribe. I'll leave my Instagram right here, and I'll see you guys in the next video.